so as a senior i think it is your responsibility to guide your juniors ki exactly how you studied in first year second year third year and so on because the me being from a government college i cannot connect to them as much as you do so please um, enlighten us actually i have a close relative who is also in private medical college so it is my own personal request as well exactly how should a person study in first year second year third year in private medical college what was your strategy and how would you advise your juniors for it okay uh, so um, what i believe that right now the trend which i have seen which i am seeing um, is that people rely more on uh, you know video lectures and notes even while preparing for their prof exams even while doing doing their uh, first readings um acha like i got a, an admission in uh, uh, 2018 so back then there was no platform i what, what i believe in you can relate that back then we didn't do, uh, we did not have any platform uh, इतना फेमस नहीं था अगर था भी तो इतना फेमस नहीं था दैट वी लाइक आई तो डिड नॉट नो दैट यू जिससे आप पढ़ सकते हो एंड दैट कैन हेल्प यू सप्लीमेंट योर टेक्स्ट बुक रीडिंग सो आई टेल यू वट आई डेट सो वेन आई टू गेट मिशन इन टू थाउजेंड एटीन the everything was very new to me okay you got into a government medical college now you are having junior senior interactions seniors are telling you do this do this do this and then everything is going very smoothly and then the, that first uh, we have that uh, part ending exam on in anatomy uh, that thing like one entire section like upper limb has gotten over so we'll have that exam of upper limb so that was the first thing uh, which happened and uh, Our the departments anatomy, physiology, biochemistry were very strict in our college in first year. That they were very, um, they were really good in terms of academics. They made sure that we are reading. They made sure that we are, you know, uh, uh, learning. And uh, they made sure that uh, by the time uh, our props come, we are well read. So um, that was some. So I did not know how to read. I mean, anatomy like BDC. Uh, is such a huge book if you see it has four it five has, volumes uh, exactly. and if you go up on a reading that how is it possible so i was very confused in, uh, like acha abhi lecture hua ma'am uh, ma'am has taken a lecture of femoral triangle and like femoral section in that uh, upper limb part what do i do now do i start reading upper limb from the first page it has osteology first ओके फाइन ओके ऑस्ट्रियोलॉजी स्किप करा तो अभी कहां से आया अभी तो ओके था आ गया एंटीरियर कंपार्टमेंट ऑफ था देन व्हाट टू रीड ऑन इन एंटीरियर कंपार्टमेंट ऑफ था बिकॉज़ इफ यू सी बीडीसी यू विल सी स्किन सुपरफिशियल फेशिया एंड ऑल द सुपरफिशियल नर्व्स इनिशियली एंड देन दे विल इवेंचुअली गो टू फेमोरल ट्रायंगल व्हिच इज द मोस्ट इंपोर्टेंट पार्ट लाइक बोथ फॉर आवर प्रोफ्स एंड क्लिनिकली आल्सो सो one of my uh, aps uh, in my college uh, so we had the, we had this mentor thing like you in first year since we are new people we are allotted mentors like uh, different different teachers from different departments are allotted as your mentors who are going to help you uh, academically as well as slightly uh, with your personal problems too so my uh, mentor used to be an ap assistant professor from my anatomy department so uh, ma'am helped me a lot what to read like she i was very lucky that ma'am टोल्ड अस की अच्छा ठीक है आज लेक्चर ये हुआ है नाउ यू गो एंड रीड दिस पार्ट फ्रॉम योर टेक्स्ट बुक सो दैट डेवलप्ड लाइक दैट थिंग हेल्प मी डेवलप अ हैबिट ऑफ रीडिंग फ्रॉम टेक्स्ट बुक आई हैड गॉट ग्रेस एंड एटमी एज़ वेल एंड आई एंजॉयड रीडिंग इट अ लॉट इवन दो इट वाज नॉट अ टेक्स्ट बुक व्हिच वाज वेरी प्रोफ ओरिएंटेड बट आई मेड श्योर दैट आई एम हैविंग वन रीड एट लीस्ट फ्रॉम दैट टेक्स्ट बुक बिकॉज़ इट गिव मी अ सेल्फ अ सटिस्फैक्शन कि वाओ एन एटमी इज लाइक दिस सो आई did uh, that part from like whatever has been taught from the lectures i will come uh, in uh, in the evening i will read that part from my textbook now i know that this has to be read okay fine i'm done now once that particular section is over i made sure that at the end of uh, like once the section is uh, about to get over i'm making my own notes from it so i had this notebook with me in which i made made my own notes i made diagrams i made a uh, small pointers which would you know help me recall all these things while i'm revising for my profs so um, that uh, uh, so by the end of my first year i had that like two three notebooks uh, which had the entire anatomy uh, two two three small notebooks which had entire anatomy in the form of notes so during profs i would just especially for revision during profs i would just refer, uh, you know flip through the pages of those notebooks and then i would go back to my textbook and i will just see that in that way i had everything you know imprinted in my mind so uh, and similarly for physiology and for biochemistry too i would 
uh, I used um, the standard textbooks like I read Guyton for understanding the physiology and uh, Indu Purana is another uh, you know um, author uh, Indian author who has uh, her textbook I used her textbook for you know uh, preparing for my prof exams because Guyton is very difficult to you know reproduce in props and for biochemistry I followed uh, Vasudevan uh, a textbook um, uh, for biochemistry and um, Lipin pot for especially the molecular biology part because I used to find it very difficult to understand. So my uh, my approach this has been my approach from first till final year. My uh, main focus was reading textbook. I was even though when I uh, you know bought a, an app subscription, I made sure that once I'm watching the video, I'm going back to my textbook to understand that thing. Suppose I watch a video of uh, um, you know uh, ear diseases like um, otitis media. I made sure that I opened Hingra and I read otitis media first. I would make handwritten notes too, but I would just use those handwritten notes for my profs. Uh, um, I just use those handwritten notes to understand, to you know, um, because those were never sufficient for writing the kind of questions they expect us to write in um, prof exams. So I used uh, the video lectures for understanding purpose, not for making it as my prime source for studying MBBS. So basically, so I would highly recommend all throughout. Yeah. So I would highly recommend people who are in first year right now that you do not run behind any app. You need to be very familiar with your textbooks first. Be familiar with your textbooks, read, get into a habit of reading. If you're not in a habit of textbook reading, if you're always running behind the shortcuts like notes or, uh, you know, uh, any other thing, it might not help you a lot in a long run because for getting an overall understanding and integrated understanding of that subject you, you must have you must ha uh, be familiar with the textbooks too so from right from the first year till the final year i was i made sure that i'm reading the textbooks i made sure that i'm uh, going through even um, the standard textbooks a lot of time if i'm not understanding something i never hesitated in you know referring more than one source for one subject Usually people say that if you, you know, use more than one source for one subject, you might, you know, get confused during the profs. But I, I, I slightly, def, uh, you know, um, disagree with this point. If you, uh, if you do not, for a proper understanding of something, no matter how many sources you need for that, you can refer to them and then, you know, finally bring everything together at one place. Maybe in the form of notes, maybe in the primary textbook, which you're using, uh, you know, uh, if suppose if I find something uh, tricky in Davidson, I'm not able to understand a concept in Davidson. I would, you know, quickly go to Harrison. I would flip the pages. I would understand. I would, you know, just read it or maybe so much. And I took a sticky note to spell it and then I, I stick it there. Um, I took like uh, it was very difficult for me to understand the you know pathophysiology of cardiac tamponade and how, why and how those GVP JVP changes and how pulses paradoxes happen, and it was not very nicely explained in any textbook. Take it Bulur or B Davidson. So what I did was I went back to Harrison. I understood it. I wrote it on in a form of a flowchart in a white sheet. I stick it to my a uh, blue textbook and now whenever i am uh, going through that cvs chapter i know that now this is a complete wholesome package i have to refer it from here so till final year even though i made uh, i watched videos i made handwritten notes but i read textbooks also my entire focus till final year was to be have a grasp on subjects and the major basic concepts which i am supposed to know now, during internship time, I will make sure that I will go through that, uh, you know, shorter versions, maybe RRs or whatever for my neat PG notes. So my sole advice for people who are, uh, you know, who will, are starting their MBBS journey or in second, third or fourth prof, that please, please, please stick to your textbooks. Do read your textbooks. Even though I don't say that don't watch the video lectures, please do watch the video lectures for your thorough understanding. But make sure you're going through the textbooks too, because that is going to make a lot of difference. Uh, I, I'll tell you like uh, with, with an example, there were certain questions sometimes while solving MCQs and PYQs, which I did not read anywhere uh, in my notes, but something clicked in my mind. Oh, I have read it somewhere. Oh, maybe I, I had seen it while reading in uh, Bailey. Maybe I had seen it in um, um, uh, Davidson or maybe I had seen it in Harrison, something like that. It clicks you. So um, it, that is why reading textbooks is very important because once you have a strong base, you can build upon it.